I have not been this excited for a video in a long time. Today, we're gonna to be traveling all over Queens, showing you five amazing pizza places you have to visit, and we're gonna be joined by somebody born and raised here for that local perspective. You don't wanna miss this. Manhattan and Brooklyn have good pizza. We get it, it's overplayed. But here in Queens, we have some spots of our own to brag about. Almost 2 p.m. line out the door here. I feel like a New Yorker has to consume pizza at least once or twice a week. Oh yeah. It's just pizza and calzone. It's a really simple menu. Okay. <laughs> Our first time. Hit three regular. Okay. That's it. All together, yeah. Cash only, super fast, super efficient. What I love about this place is you're five minutes from JFK Airport, so this could be your very first slice in New York City. Imagine that. My dad would like this. Yeah? He loves thin crust. He always asks everywhere we go for a thin crust pie. Nice little char, the cheese to sauce ratio. Let's take a bite. Mm. You know, light, airy crust. This is a great first slice in New York City. This is like your prototypical grab-and-go New York City slice. This is quality. I can see why people would order two or three of these. I kind of want to just go right to the crust, you know? It's like when you go to an Italian restaurant and they give you like the breadsticks with yeah. the olive oil, just like that. Perfect. You know, considering that we're eating five slices today, anything that's light and thin is actually a benefit for this little food challenge. Do you think that in Queens there's a certain pride about your neighborhood spots? Yes, every neighborhood has a good pizza place, but sometimes certain ones last longer than others. Anywhere in Queens, kind of just find the nearest neighborhood and see if they have a pizza restaurant that's older than 40 years, and odds are it's got good pizza. So we're basically riding around Queens in a red Mustang eating a lot of pizza. What poor life decisions have led me down this dark and dismal path? I like Astoria. I do too. I could definitely live here. I have friends I could here. definitely live in Astoria. I used to lifeguard at the pool. Yeah? Yeah, we used to go around, lunch, to pick a different spot, and the community knew who we were. We'd show up in the bright orange, and they'd know <laughs> exactly who you are. Right on. Yeah, I mean, that's how this whole concept started. It started with me experimenting stuff at home. This one? This is really cool slice. We got honey sriracha, ranch, jalapenos, black sesame seeds. We got Indian tikka masala with jalapenos. We got loaded tater tots, steak truffle, fried Oreo, grilled cheese pizza. Especially on the weekends when everyone's out just chilling, that's when we'll crank out the birria. It's all kinds of crazy stuff comes out. So what we do is we like to put all our favorites on, our, on one pizza. We got our sweet potatoes with the marshmallows, nice toasted and melted. Then the second bite is a stuffing, homemade stuffing. Then the third bite, you go back to the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows. Then for the grand finale, you got the homemade turkey with gravy and a honey cranberry sauce. You can eat it from the front, or from the back, or from the side. You get crazy. Tough decisions, we'll see, we'll see. I don't even know where to begin with a slice like this. This is basically your Thanksgiving dinner in one. Should I go from the back? Should I go from the front? What would you do? Well, are you more of a turkey person or do you like your sides first? Like when the plate's brought to you at Thanksgiving, what do you eat first? The sides or the turkey? The sides. We're going with the sides. Go right for so the front. So we're going from the end. bottom to the top. You gotta tell me in the comments if you would eat this. I'm curious. Yeah. At the bottom here, we've got marshmallow and sweet potato. What are we doing? Oh my God. A little cranberry. <laughs> Mm. It's exactly as you would imagine it. Imagine mixing all of your favorite sides from Thanksgiving into one. I immediately noticed the sweet potato when I took that first bite. This is probably the most unique pizza you've ever had. Turkey on a pizza, never thought I'd see the day. Pairing it with the cranberry sauce and the gravy, I think you're either gonna love this or hate this. If you're like a purist, maybe you won't like it. For someone like me that's all about experimenting, it's fantastic. Oh. I think I'm gonna move one of these to yeah. the front. I'm gonna mush that up, move oh, it to yeah. the front. I'm just gonna, I don't even know how to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just do it. Mmm, what I thought it was gonna be. You gotta give it a little, find that cannoli sauce, dunk it, and just, mm. They literally have a pie for every filet, like taste bud. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you want sweet, they have sweet. If you want spicy, they have spicy. If you want spicy with a little cheese and a little mozzarella, 
They got it. Yeah, the owner is uh, Punjabi. I'm very familiar with that food because my girlfriend's from there. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tried opening a samosa and just eating it flat? Oh, wait, it's, it's a slice. Does he get more queens than this right here? A lot of queens is covered by train, yeah. train tracks, I'd say. But this is how you know you're in New York. At the very end of the line, they smack you with a massive advertisement. Funny sign. enough, this is the only place that I actually haven't been to on our list. And this is the only place in the video that I have been to on the list. There's not many places in New York that look like a deli from the outside and have great pizza inside. Even if you're not a fan of pizza, you can get imported Italian goods right here. Do a three plane. We're doing a video about the best pizza in Queens. Italian little cheesy, simple to the point. Pure Italian. Pure Italian, yes. Take a look. Oh, we saw. Ben, you got that right. Yeah. You got the shot. Good, good PR here. So I'm, I'm his PR manager. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. With the sunglasses. All right, all right. Oh, it's uh, wow, delicious. This isn't your average looking New York City slice. It's a lot of mozzarella. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, apparently they make their mozzarella fresh every morning. So you know you're getting quality fresh ingredients every time you bite a piece of pizza. Let's take a bite. I can taste the mozzarella. I can, I can just taste the difference already. It's light, right? It's a really simple pizza, honestly. Just simple fresh ingredients doesn't take much. We're also eating in the middle of a deli in Queens. So if you're ever coming here to get some Italian products, you might as well just pick up a slice while you're waiting for them exactly. to cut your mozzarella. Every neighborhood will have a good pizza location, but it's the story that goes with it that really makes it that much better, you know? We're in the middle of a market in a busy city, yeah. in a busy town of Astoria, having a slice of pizza. And a very good slice at yeah. that. They even have my best friend's family soda here. Limonata de Sicilia, lemon soda, and then they have the blood orange. If you see these anywhere, you will not regret tasting this. James, 42 minutes to go 7.4 miles. Welcome to New York. Danny's House of Pizza, love the name. And we've already got a line out the door at like six o'clock. Just keep an eye on how often these guys are picking up a new piece of dough and making a new pie, because it's literally every five seconds. You'll never have a slice that's been sitting around. You'll always have a slice that's relatively fresh, if not still hot from the oven. Well, that's the advantage of a really popular place. It keeps moving. This is like a local spot. Oh yeah. These guys have been here forever. I recognize them since I've been coming here. Feel bad giving it away? Honestly, no, because people should taste good pizza. Yeah. You know, if you like the sweet sauce and you're a fan of pesto, you gotta come to Danny's. Sometimes it's so good that you just wanna like eat it right in front, go for a walk, you know, pull up on the side and just put it on the go. hood of your red Ford Mustang. I don't know if anyone else even does this. I have yet to see an, an authentic, just original cheese pesto slice myself. I mean, I've seen the artichoke slice, which kinda looks like this, but it's not this. And I'm not a big fan of the artichoke slice, to be honest with you. Oh wow. Mm, that cheese snuck up on me, damn. Mm. You taste it? It's really basil -y. It's got a strong flavor. Try how the locals have it. Oh, let's do it. You let's order see. a side of the sweet sauce and you give it a pour right down the middle. I can smell that sauce already. Mm. There it is. I love sweet tomato sauce. It's like one of my weaknesses. I freaking love a sweeter tomato sauce. But with the pesto, when you, you combine the sweet sauce, I think it, it kind of counteracts how strong the pesto flavor is. It completes the circle. You know what I mean? Exactly. It, com it completes the circle of pizza stardom. Mm. I don't think I've ever also had a slice where I had to put tomato sauce on myself just, as, just at the end there. What the heck was that? Oh, this guy's running after He him. must have stolen something. Did he steal something? That guy specifically ran through our pizza review. Doesn't he see we're filming here? Can't he steal stuff on his own time? He must be running home to get some money to get some of this pizza. 
I was just about to say, try the plain slice. I think you know that I'm gonna love this. Yeah. It's not thick, it's light. Mm. Taste that sweet sauce. That's it. This is it for me. This is my style. You just wanna keep going. This is actually gotta be like top five sauces I've had in New York that I like. This is like my specific flavor that I'm into, my specific taste. Danny's like has it for me since 1959. What do you think about Danny's? How often do you come here? Or how much? She comes in New York whenever she visits from Florida. She always wants to come here. Oh yeah? So of all the places on the video, Nick's hits closest to home for you, huh? Yeah, well, in fact, we are in my home, uh, Forest Hills. This happens to be my number one pizza place on today's list, in my opinion, and any list I would recommend anyone coming to Queens to try. The big thing to remember, guys, says right here, no slices, it's a pie spot. Yes, which means it's that good that you have to just get the whole thing. Just get a small pie with half pepperoni, half plain, but with extra cheese on the line. This is a cute pie. A small pie. I feel like if I was hungry enough, I could eat this whole thing by myself. On certain days of the week, when I haven't seen certain friends in a long time, we will come here, sit right there, and each order a large pie. And it comes with a double-decker version of this, a big pie on top, big pie on the bottom, and then two of them. And we oh, just wow. dig in. I'm a fan. Look at that. <laughs> I was dreading having more pizza because I'm so full. These are so small. These are thin. Perfect little, for just little, splitting with someone, yeah, you know? Well Side salad. together slice. All right, bon appetit. Let's go. Let's try this. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Just like I remember it. Good consistency. Great cheese to sauce ratio on this. Love the mozzarella. Little fresh basil on yeah. top. Nice pull. You were waiting all day to do that, weren't you? Uh -huh. You were waiting all day for that, the extra cheese. <laughs> mm. It can keep going. It's like a mozzarella stick. If I were to come here for the first time, get whatever pie you like. Customize it to your specialty, and you will not regret it. This is different. This isn't your, your grab-and-go slice. This is like a nice occasion. You're celebrating something. You haven't seen your boys in a while. Bam, yep. right here. Yep. Date night, movie theater down the block, come to Forest Hills, grab a slice before the flick. Can't go wrong. And now you're gonna tell us down below in the comments, did we miss anything? What other spots in Queens should we go to next for a part two? We wanna know. Thank you so much for watching, as always.